to be back. I've missed you all. I've had some amazing adventures and I can't wait to share them with you. Let's get right to it. This is Lost in Africa vlog number 11. This experience is so different from all the others I've shared. And this time, there will be no car, no train, no plane, none of that. My means of transportation will be my very own feet. <laughs> so stay put, we're gonna trek up the second highest mountain in Africa, Mount Kenya. 4,985 meters. This is by far the most challenging trek I've ever done. But first, come with me so we can start packing. So here we have my snow gear, some jackets, and here's my sleeping bag. Oh look, some nice trekking boots, some warmer boots, and some sneakers. It's also quite sunny, so we have to bring our sunblock and the sunglasses, and a diary to keep things. Snacks, they're super important for if you get hungry during all those hours of trekking. I think I'm all set, what do you think? Now that we're all set, it's time to go. Getting to the base of the mountain was already an adventure by itself. We were met by our guide called Chief, at Chagoria, a little town three hours from Nairobi. We jumped into a 41-year-old car. Yes, a 41-year-old Land Rover, and it's still going. Well, not for very long. Five minutes down the road, the truck broke down. Thankfully, the driver flew around with a motor for a few minutes, and we were back on our way. We have a whole team which will help us get to the top. The guide, the cook, the porters, all super important. This is a team effort. I felt great. I had so much energy and it was awesome to walk through the forest. This is where we're starting to walk. We reached our little cabin where we spent the first night. The place was beautiful. We could see Mount Kenya in the distance. Day two of our trip. This is where it all really begins. We had a good night, a little cold, but Great, look, you can see the mountains behind us. It looks very gorgeous. I re really want to start walking. It was all going well for about an hour until my new great for hiking boots started giving me blisters. It was so painful. I know, you shouldn't wear new shoes for a trek. But hey, I didn't have any, and it's not like I could wear my everyday flip-flops. Thankfully, we were able to catch the porters and grab my sneakers. After a few hours of checking, about nine kilometers up, we reached our campsite at the roadhead at 3,300 meters. A great place to acclimatize. That's just a fancy word that means to get used to the altitude. So it's very much higher than yesterday. Feeling a bit tired after all that walking, but I'm okay. My head hurts a little bit, but I guess that's just because of the sun. We walked a few more hours that day as we headed to a waterfall and visited some caves and a beautiful lake. It must be very cold. That's not so bad, actually. It was a great day. After dinner, we were warned that the next day would be very tough. 12 kilometers uphill. So we went early to our tents for a good night's sleep. Well, good night was what I wished for. Not really, I didn't really sleep well because um, I, I was very tired but I just couldn't seem to fall asleep so it was a very hard night for me. Right now we're having a hot chocolate. They say that it's gonna be the hardest um, um, like day of this, um, but the summit is also very hard. And we started again. The walk was long and tough, uphill most of the time, but the view was absolutely worth it. At the beginning, it was all going well. We walked about two and a half hours, and now we're just stopping for a break to eat something before setting off again all the way up. Look at the amazing view. And then I got tired, very tired. And then I got grumpy, 
very grumpy. But then, to our surprise, it started raining. No, no, hailing. It's hailing now. I thought it would be raining, but instead of rain, it's hail, and it hurts. But it bounces on your head, it's like chico. With little balls of ice, and look, we're surrounded in clouds. It was actually quite miserable. It was hailing so bad, and we had to go very quickly because we could hear a thunderstorm coming our way. And it was cold, I was tired, and I was done. After so much hail, so much rain, we are finally at Victor's camp, and now we're having um, dinner in our tents. Tonight, I did crash as soon as I put my head down. They woke us up at 3 a.m. It was all dark outside and cold. Our tents were covered with frost. I put on all my gear, which I had left in my sleeping bag to stay warm, got my headlamp on, and off we went. It was so cool to be walking at night. We even turned off our lights to be guided by the moon and the stars. To say it was unbelievably tough is not even close. The mountains felt humongous, and soon, we reach the snow. We are almost there. That is the peak that we're going to go to. That one up there. I am feeling very tired. It's a very steep uphill and more and more. There was no turning back. And before I knew it, I was climbing the ladder to the summit. I reached the top and there was a group of around 40 people who started clapping. They were so impressed with me and my little sister, Amelie. Summit Lenana! We became one of the youngest kids to ever summit Lenana Peak. Great! I like to see around and see that we're in the cloud. Over there there's only cloud. I can't see the mountains anymore. It's very cool. After a few minutes of enjoying the view, it was time to go down. We started laughing and looking back on what a crazy experience that had been. Here's five top things I learned from the mountain. Number one, I learned that Africa can be extremely cold. Number two, I learned that sometimes there's no choice but to keep walking. Number three, some things can be hard but I can do them. Number four, you have to be happy and thankful for the things you have. For example, the food you get to eat. And number five, it's amazing to do something you didn't know you could do. Thanks for joining me in this amazing adventure. I'll be back soon and I hope you can join me. We'll be going to the land of the pharaohs. Yes, we're off to Egypt. Awesome! Part one of our amazing adventure, including the Great Pyramids, camels, a boat ride on the Nile, and more, coming soon. Until next time.